Yo, what is up guys? It is Skarm, and for today's video, I'm going to be completing the Showdown Player SBC for Scott McTominay from Manchester United. Of course, if you guys aren't aware on how Showdown cards actually work, uh, Manchester United will be facing Liverpool in the coming week. And of course, if Manchester United do beat Liverpool, um, McTominay would get a plus 2 upgrade to an 87 rated card. If they do draw against Liverpool, he would become an 86 rated card. And if they do lose to Liverpool, he would remain an 85 rated card for the remainder of FIFA. But apart from that, he, of course, he is an 85 rated CDM card so far at least. He is 6 foot 4 high high records, right footed, 3 star 3 star. So in my opinion so far, actually looking pretty good as a CDM in the Premier League. Of course, it's going to be impossible basically to hybrid this card out. So you would have to have a Premier League squad and only a Premier League squad for the most part. But apart from that, on to traits, he doesn't have anything going on there. And when you guys look into the in-game stats, honestly, they look pretty good. Acceleration and sprint speed, of course, they're decent. But definitely, if he does get an upgrade, it would be really, really good. I still would recommend a shadow camera style on this guy just to boost that pace up and, of course, boost the defending as well. When you guys look into shooting, he has great shot power and long shots. So he could definitely score you a couple goals like that. When you guys look into passing, great vision, great short passing, and great long passing. Decent cross and curve as well when you guys look in it to dribbling agility is somewhat decent it's at 75 so it's not the greatest that's for sure when you guys look at balance 68 that's definitely not very good but what do you really expect from a six foot four cdm when you guys look into the rest of the dribbling stats 85 reactions 85 ball control 84 dribbling and 85 composure are some great stats to finish off the dribbling when you guys move on to defending he has great stats all around the board once again Standing tackling at 87 is also very very good and with the boost of a shadow camera style along with potentially a plus one or a plus two this card could look very very dangerous. When you guys move in to the final stat which is going to be physicality he has all right jumping at 77 nothing too special but the rest of the stats are very very good at 91 stamina and 91 strength and at 92 aggression. He honestly looks very good in the CDM, the center mid or the center back position. So in my opinion, not the worst SPC to do when you guys move on to the SPC itself. However, this is going to cost you guys 164,000 coins to complete. You do get yourself three packs in return. All the packs are tradable, but all the packs are just average at best. So the Manchester United section will cost you guys 35,000 coins. The Premier League section will cost you guys 42,000 coins. And the top form section will cost you guys 87,000 coins to complete so now to move on to the Manchester United section and like I said before this is going to cost guys 35,000 coins to complete no loyalty is required as you can see even though the goalkeeper does have loyalty it does not affect this SPC whatsoever so here are the players I did use And that is the Manchester United section completed. So now to move on to the Premier League section. And like I said before, this is going to cost guys 42,000 coins to complete. No loyalty is required as you can see. And here are the players I did use. And that is the Premier League section completed. So now to move on to the final section, which is going to be the top form section. And like I said before, this is going to cost guys 87,000 coins to complete the loyalty is required, as you can see. And here are the players I did use. And that is the top form section completed that is also going to end of this video. So please do make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Peace out.